This game wrap is presented by Henry Finley and the staff of McCombs Ford West at 410 and Calabra, a proud supporter of all area high school sports and athletes. By Smash Mouth Football Fight for the win. By San Antonio Masonry and Steel. And by... Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fun, it's free, and it's safe for the environment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. 5A Division I second round playoffs at the Alamo Dome as San Antonio Southwest Legacy taking on Gregory Port. And the Titans picked up their second ever playoff win last week, a week after winning their first district title in their brief four-year history. They look now for their first second round win in the four-year history of the program, taking on Gregory Portland. The Wildcats coming out of the very difficult Corpus Christi area, which features them, Flower Bluff, Veterans Memorial, among a slew of other teams. How the matchup play out and could Southwest Legacy make history and get to Thanksgiving weekend? Let's check out the highlights presented by Smash Mouth Football, San Antonio Masonry and Steel, and our brand new sponsor, Henry Finley at McCombs Ford West. There is Robert Bruce in his first year as head coach at Legacy. His brother Charles now at Brandeis after a successful run at Wagner, which included a state semifinal appearance. That's Ross Dubose number one, and he had a big night, as did quarterback Brandon Redden.
The interception by James Durham in the end zone ended any hopes of a legacy legendary comeback. Red and through for 374 yards, six touchdown passes, and only three incompletions as the Wildcats beat the Titans 55-13. DuBose had 106 receiving yards, caught three of the touchdowns, and ran for another while David Carl had 136 and two others. Dalvin Bats had 119 yards rushing. Legacy continuing to grow as a new program, and they'll continue to get better as the years go on, but their first 10-win season ends at 10 and 2. Reporting from the friendly confines of the Alamo Dome, I'm Greg Sherman.